when you and I eat uh, fat, it's interesting, we can't digest or absorb that because we're water. And oil and fat don't mix with water. So we're water-based creatures, our body is mostly water, and when we eat a greasy meal, we can't digest the fat unless we take advantage of kind of a miraculous system that's built into us. And I'd like to explain that miraculous system by referring back to a Dawn dishwashing liquid commercial. You may remember that commercial where they have the sink and the greasy spaghetti plate goes into the sink and you see the bubbles of grease appear on the top of the sink water. And then from the right hand top of the screen comes in the aqua blue Dawn dishwashing liquid detergent and they squirt it and as soon as that detergent hits the water, the oil dissolves because the detergent can let oil and water mix. Now you and I are fitted with that same squirt bottle in our gut. After the stomach has chewed and digested in part the greasy fried chicken, the big slab of deep dish pizza, the big chunk of ice cream and chocolate, and it goes out of the stomach, it goes to the duodenum, and that has some little squirt bottle connections, but not of Dawn dishwashing liquid, but of green bile from your gallbladder. And your gallbladder squirts in the bile detergent into the gut to help you digest and absorb fat. And that system's miraculous because look at all of us sitting here this morning. Yeah, we could all miss a meal, right? So that system that's designed to help us digest and absorb fat, it's go. It's working great. In fact, it's working so well in some patients that it leads to morbid obesity and potentially the other complications of morbid obesity, including heart attack and stroke and death and sleep apnea and diabetes and all the other bad things. So the surgery itself is designed to interfere with that digestion and absorption of fat. So what we do is we bypass that whole area. We say we know where the detergent is sitting in our gut. Let's bypass that. And when we bypass that, the amount of fat that we're able to digest and absorb goes down. And that's a good thing. We want to have it go down. It doesn't go down completely. Now, if you take fat and you eat it, and we've interfered with its digestion, that oil can stay in your gut a lot like if you've taken some castor oil or mineral oil. So then, if you take a whole bunch of it, it can lead to some diarrhea. So you're going to have to be careful with your diet, especially focused on greasy foods post-op, because they can cause, and we just heard that from one of our patients, a little bit of frequent bowels uh, if you're not careful and you don't take it in moderation.